Hello everybody. We just wanted to show you some, some new marijuana behavior that we've been seeing. That's not a very good shot. Let's try it up here. I know. There we go. Um, they've, uh, we have the two, there's the pair in here right now. Uh, the one to the back we think is the male. That's Iago and the one coming towards you is Arwen. I think it's the female. Only due to behavior really. Uh, but they've taken this whole side of the pond, all the bottom space, and forced the Paku and the cichlids over here, the catfish are in that back corner. Like together too, I don't know what that, that is, see if I can fix the water here. I'll do the same thing at park at, maybe if we give them some food. Anyway, I wanted to try to catch these two doing this. When we walk in, everything changes. The behavior changes. I need to set up with being able to film it. Well, I can watch it from far away, and they don't they don't realize what's happening. But this is you can see he's actually very blue. He's a cool fish. They do this. They drop to the bottom, and they peck fins flare out, and they arch their back a little bit and they kind of just claim territory things just swim away from them. There's not only much aggression it's all through body posturing and the Paku have adapted their own little form of becoming visually invisible really. They, they lay down so their bellies are exposed and they kind of blend in with the background and the arrows kind of forget about them. See how blue he is? It's a pretty belly. We got the water level dropped because of the. I was reading about other people's success with breeding and they talked about the lunar cycles and rainy seasons. So we're trying this water dropping it thing and it seems to be working. I think, I'm not sure what the ovulation looks like, but she's getting kind of swollen in the middle. She's being very dominant. I've already pushed everybody over again. And it's all of this very subtle peck fin movements and body arching and and the fish, the other fish just respond to it. It's like, they're like hurting them. So you see that peck flare and then that pocket just goes away. There's no. Yeah, the catfish is fun. That's Bagheera. It's an Akara cat. And the other one I believe to be an Akara cat, but his pattern's a little different. Call him Mowgli. Let's see if we can get him to forget about us. She was chasing at first, he was chasing her around. See her drive that fish off? See her for pins? I hope you've seen that. Oh, it's so cool. A lot of people keep these fish, but no one's talked about this yet. So we're hoping to be the first to describe it anyway. Hi, Iago. Here, before I take up too much more time, let's feed him. Open that, buddy. Yeah, their feeding responses drop drastically. They, they're nowhere near as ravenous as they were, but their activities increased a lot. And she's not even didn't care. I think I might have fed him this morning, actually. I get in there, it's like, whatever. Paco and Finney will come get some. Ow. They eat their fat butts off the bottom. You've got the cichlids so scared, look. They won't even come eat, they're all just piling in a corner. Mm -hmm. Oscar mm -hmm. laying on top of them. Uh, they'll come out eventually with the arowanas having so scared that, that they're just sitting back right there. <laughs> That's crazy. The water's a lot clearer too, they can't hide as easy. But there's never any problem. Like she doesn't even care about the food. There comes Baggy. I get it. Come on, Pete Cat. There's no way. See, his pattern's a lot different. It's like bigger. See, you see real small spots, and he's got like these jaguar spots. Very cool fish. He came here as a baby. 
she was pretty big actually, rescued from a guy who had her in a fish tank behind his bar. And he uh, asked about her every time I saw him for probably two, three years after that, wanting pictures of her. And he hung a picture behind the bar of her that we took. It's pretty cool. That's what makes this a cool project because these are just every one of these animals. She came to us from Weston, Kentucky, and a guy's trunk in a cooler on a 95 degree day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Iago came here very small. Gandalf took him under his wing, kind of kept him safe in the pond, and he's got bigger, he kind of rejected him, but he, uh, he doesn't even care about that. I think I might have given him too many mice the other day. They're all full. We'll try to catch some more of this video of the, the behavior. Oh, everyone can meet. This is Nero. We're doing uh, animal behavior studies in school. And the group's chosen to do marijuana stuff since it's what I do anyway. And we're going to look at uh, developmental stuff for a baby learning to feed as far as propulsion uh, compared to these three-year-olds on how they respond to surface food. So... Say hi to the world, man. You're filling some big shoes. All right, well, we'll say bye. A shot of the blue man. Say hi, Yago. Hopefully, you'll be a daddy or... I think that's how it's going to work. I have a theory about the shape of the mouth, be able to uh, identify males and females, but I only have six or seven marijuana's to go on behavior and stuff, but... And the fact that no one shares data in this world, they want you to pay for it. Say bye, guys.